Hi there. Just want a quick short chat about the actual assessment process. So going through the assessment process was actually quite interesting. Um, I think for me personally, the hardest part uh, of the assessment was to actually open up and be myself. Because I'd lived in fear for many, many years of myself and I've grown up with this wariness uh, of psychiatrists uh, and doctors about you know like what could happen to me um, because I grew up in an era of asylums and locking up people who were different so this whole assessment process for me took uh, an awful lot of personal courage but surprisingly, the process was not that bad. Uh, to start with, we just had questionnaires. Questionnaires. Now, these bugged me. <laughs> um, they seem to have been developed more from um, the, the male models of ASD and ADHD. So I, I found myself getting quite frustrated with the limitations on the questions. Um, and I know... Another little quirk of mine is that, you know, I really like to, I like more options with the questions. I found there were lots of yes, buts, or no, buts, or on the scales, I was just like, just a bit off here or a bit off there. And my in a lot of ways, I think I was seeing them as situation specific. I'd be answering yes in this situation, but no in that but it doesn't give you the opportunity to do that. And that was annoying me. So after going through these onerous questionnaires, um, I thought, no, I am going to have to write a separate piece of paper um, with a breakdown of questions. So um, question 3B, yes in this situation, no in that situation. So I decided to further break down the questionnaires myself because I didn't feel that um, they completely... Um, represented who I was and I thought well if I'm going to be open I need this questionnaire to be very precise about who I am if I need to know the answers I've got to be open you're going to have to ask me the right questions so these poor psychiatrists got all this extra information from me after you've completed the questionnaires, you've got the interview stage and with the autism spectrum disorder, they also like somebody else to go with you or, um, you know, to be interviewed or to complete questionnaires too. someone who knows you really, really well. Um, now, the thing with me is I don't travel far from home. I have major sensory issues um, and anxiety issues. Um due to um, my autism and you put me in traffic or anything I completely overload so for me to be able to go into town for any sort of medical appointment I need to be driven by someone who understands me and I need to be heavily sedated so you can't really go into an interview when you're heavily sedated um, luckily um, both professionals were willing to do telehealth appointments so this was really really helpful to me so that was great so everything was scheduled everything was organized i could arrange for a quiet time and go ahead with this now i'm also not going to talk to some random stranger on the internet i can have a telehealth with my doctor or my psychologist because i know them but these are people i hadn't met before so I had to actually research my doctors first. Now, okay, who is going to be giving me the assessments? You know, check with the companies who's doing them. Which doctors are going to do this? Okay, that's them. And then I need to go and see what they look at, what they look like, what their qualifications are. It'll just, just little bits and pieces to get it set in my mind. Okay, well, this person knows what they're talking about. They're clearly experienced and that's what they look like. So when this face pops up on my screen, this is going to be fine. So far, so good. Now, the autism assessment was fine. The person who conducted that looked, sounded and behaved as expected. The ADHD assessment 
No, that started to trip me out really early on in the piece. Why? The simplest of reasons. The doctor concerned had changed his appearance. On the website, he was this friendly looking chap with glasses and a beard. But he didn't have either when he interviewed me. This ordered, like things to be the same, autistic side of my brain got seriously put out by the friendly looking man with a cool name, looked like somebody completely different when he interviewed me. And this immediately put me on the back foot and made me feel really, really uncomfortable. So if you're a medical professional who's watching this for some reason, can you please update your profile pictures online to match what you actually look like? Because as autistic people, we don't like those sort of little changes. Thank you.